Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial on understanding the map tools in Realist. Maps in Realist are a powerful tool. Not only do they provide an excellent means for searching for properties, but they also provide great insight into areas based on the information that can be displayed on them as well. Let's take a look at the features the Realist maps have to offer. First, I'll point out that Realist uses Google Maps. We'll start with the basics. You can scroll in or out of the map by using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Or alternatively, you can use the plus and minus buttons at the top right of the map. Moving the map is as easy as clicking and dragging directly on the map. The drop down at the right allows you to switch between road map, satellite, hybrid, and terrain views. Road map is the default view in Realist. Satellite view allows you to see more detail about properties on the map. This makes it easy to see where things like vacant lots, parks, open space, and other property types are located. Hybrid view puts the map labels found on the road map on top of the satellite views. And the terrain feature allows you to see any terrain features, like hills or mountains on the map as well. The next helpful feature to point out on the map are the parcel lines. Not only do these show you the lot lines for a property, but you can also click on any parcel you like to find more information. This walk the block feature allows you to easily find properties if you don't know an address or just want to explore more about a particular area without performing a search to find each property. Once you click a parcel, a pop-up appears with information about the property. If a property has been listed through your MLS, in addition to the primary listing photo, bedroom, bathroom, and sale information, you'll also see a few different links. First is a magnifying glass that zooms you down to the closest zoom level for the property. Next is a ruler icon that displays the estimated lot dimensions for the property. The sign icon is a link that takes you back into the listing for this property in your MLS listing system. And last is a camera icon that opens up the full photo carousel from the listing for the property. If you click on a property that hasn't been listed, you'll only see public record information available on the pop-up. And only the quick zoom and parcel dimension tools will be available. There will be no photos or links to the MLS. Now, let's take a look at the map tools on top of the map. The first are drawing tools that allow you to draw shapes and only find properties within those shapes. Five total shapes, or a maximum of 6.875 square miles, is the shape drawing limit. Use the polygon to draw custom multi-sided shapes, or use the square or circle for radius searches. Note that after I draw the shape, the shape name has been added to my search at left, and can even be renamed if you'd like. We'll clear out this search, and next take a look at boundaries. Boundaries display parcel, zip, county, school district, neighborhood, and flood zone boundaries. Please note that between boundaries and the next two map tools, property and sales information, and trends, only six layers can be enabled at once. Also, please note that not all boundaries are available in all areas. I'll also point out that you can turn off most map layers by clicking on the X next to the layer on the legend at the bottom of the map. Property and Sales allows you to display a number of things on the map, the first of which are any properties in foreclosure. These include pre-foreclosure, auction, and bank-owned properties. It also allows you to display any distressed properties, including bank-owned sales and short sales. We'll turn these off. And next we'll move to Sales and Values. Tax sales will place a red sign on any property that has been sold according to public record data. The AVM selection will place an estimated value on top of a property. 
If you see a red magnifying glass icon next to your selection, that means you're zoomed out too far to display that layer on the map. Just zoom in to show the layer. MLS status will show any properties that are active, pending, or that have sold or expired in the past 3, 6, 9, or 12 months through your MLS. Property characteristics allow you to put information on top of parcels, including lot area, APN, or tax ID number, bedroom and bathroom count, building square footage, owner name, or house number. Next, we'll take a look at trends. Using colorful heat maps, realists can show trends such as sale price, sales activity, and even the number or percentage of homes in foreclosure. Results can be aggregated either by zip code or neighborhood. Please note that neighborhood boundaries are not available in all locations. Via a slider at the bottom, the opacity scale makes the map either more or less visible underneath the trends layer. Next are points of interest. These icons show where things like places to shop, places to eat, medical facilities, or hotels are on the map. Just click on an icon to see the address and description of a specific point of interest. Driving directions are next, which allow you to input a starting point and an ending point, then receive turn-by-turn -turn directions that can be emailed to clients. I'll just clear these out to remove them from the map. Locate on the map is next, which allows you to input an address or point of interest to find on the map. Lakes, parks, or even stadiums can be entered into this box as well. A measurement tool allows you to measure the distance between points. Just double click to finish the line and click the line once it's been drawn to show the total length. Simply hit delete line to get rid of it. And lastly, an annotation tool allows you to place a text box on the map and you can place your own custom text inside. Also, if you'd like to print or save the map and any of the layers on it, just click the Print button at the bottom of the map. This will generate a PDF with whatever layers you have enabled at that given time. And that concludes our tutorial on using the map tools in Realist. A great way to not only search for properties, but also a great way to display and distribute information to your clients as well. Please check out some of our other videos to see all of the helpful features Realist has to offer.